You're listening to Fossil's Powerhouse. Hey everybody, welcome to today's podcast. This is Pato the Ghost Rider, aka Pato Morningstar, saying thank you for being here because God, I know you have options. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys are all having an awesome week. Uh, uh, I had one of those where I spent time at urgent care and then I uh, ended up taking a forced vacation, but it's all gravy now. I mean, they hooked me up with some good shit that, well, what can I say? It's so good. I lost motor skills for a while, but I was feeling good and now I'm feeling better. So I hope your week is a lot better than mine has been. I hope that when you're listening to this, that, you know, you're being blessed, you're being, you know, living your best life because when it's all said and done hey that's what we want right Alrighty, so uh let's see uh i'm gonna talk about something that you know i recently and finally watched the joker movie so now i'm not gonna talk about the movie here itself but a certain thing that happened in that movie and how i am going to put out in the universe my own you know pato's uh fan theory for uh, Joker 2 because we know that there's it's been green lit there's a second Joker movie in the works so um now uh you saw I'm, I'm assuming that you saw it by now I mean it's been out for a while it's out of the red boxes where you can rent them too so uh, if you saw this movie you saw how uh, what a jacked up life Arthur had in order for him to you know journey on and become the Joker but something else this movie gave us that normally the other movies like the Batman Origins don't give us is the uh, Thomas Wayne factor. You know how we, when we think of Thomas Wayne, we always think of this goody two-shoes, almost saint guy, you know, Dr. Wayne, who did not work at Wayne Enterprises, but at the hospital in order to take care of people instead of, you know, being a rude, shrewd businessman. But in this movie, the Thomas Wayne that we get is a uh, rich elite with political aspirations. Now, when I say that, now we, you know, rich elite with political aspirations, uh, we've never heard of that shit before, right? Um, Anyway, all I'm saying, if I'm saying anything, okay, for the next movie, okay, in this movie we discover that... uh, the Joker's mom, at one point in time, worked for the Waynes and obviously was obsessed with Thomas Wayne. Now, in this movie, for a brief second, we get the crazy notion that the Joker might be Bruce Wayne's older brother. But uh, that goes away because it, it is dismissed you know basically uh thomas wayne uh i guess arthur goes up and meets up with him you know because he thinks that thomas wayne is his father but thomas wayne tells him that his mom was crazy was committed to arkham that he was adopted so it was no possible way that he was his son and then obviously punched him there's that scene in the bathroom okay so uh all his life, Arthur was let may you know made believe by his mom that he was Thomas Wayne's son. Okay, well, like I said, any other Batman movie, I would have said yes. Okay, the lady snuts, you know, she was committed. She shacked up with a lot of abusive people that abused uh, Arthur, and that's why the Joker is who he is now. But This particular Thomas Wayne that we got is a politician. 
acts like a scumbag. In fact, in the scene where he was shot, you know, that scene that gets used over and over for every Batman origin story, the one where he gets shot, mom gets shot, the pearls go everywhere. I mean, I have to be honest, I wasn't totally heartbroken when he got shot. I mean, the Joker didn't shoot him, but, you know, obviously the Joker inspired a whole bunch of other people that felt they were being oppressed by the elite, by the rich. And uh, basically, somebody followed Thomas Wayne out of the theater when all the riots broke and, uh, you know, told him, you get what you deserve, Wayne, and shot him. Okay, that being said, now, like I said, so... As far as we know in this movie, Mom Was Nuts made him believe that uh, Thomas Wayne was his dad. But uh, as it turns out in this movie so far, uh, they Thomas Wayne told the Joker, no, your mom's nuts. She was uh, admitted to Arkham. Uh, you were adopted. You're not my son. But now let me put... Uh, let me be devil's advocate there and let me put a spin. What if in the second movie it was revealed that since Thomas Wayne was such a scumbag anyway, political, you know, n- not that politicians are scumbags or anything like that, right? I'm, I'm not saying that, but the man did have political aspirations. So let's say that he did the hibbity divities with the maid or whatever function uh, the Joker's mom played it, you know, because she worked for the Thomas Wayne. Let's say that they did got involved and the product was Arthur. But because Thomas Wayne is a rich elite motherfucker, um, decided that that would ruin his image and his political aspirations. What if he had the Joker's mom committed to Arkham? And of course, we all know that Arkham is such a great place, right? So chances are that she got experimented on. And if she wasn't crazy, it wouldn't be a stretch to think that she became crazy there at Arkham. And let's say that, well, while she's in Arkham, of course, the kid goes into foster care and then she gets them back. But when she gets them back, uh, she signs like adoption papers for her own son. In other words, because, I mean, you're talking about a a woman that there's no dad there adopting a kid. See, that's one of those flaws right there. So could I see a rich scumbag son of a bitch with political aspirations trying to cover his tracks, committing a woman to to Arkham Asylum? And if she's not crazy, making sure that she gets treated in such a way that she becomes crazy. And uh, then having the kids spend time in foster homes or orphanage until she gets out of Arkham or agrees to whatever she needs to agree to to get the fuck out of there and signs paperwork to get her son back. But she get the only way she can do that is by adopting her own son back. That, that, that is my theory. What if what I'm saying, if I'm saying anything, the ultimate twist in this Joker story, in this DC Universe movie, what if the ultimate twist is that the Joker, Batman's number one nemesis, turns out to be his older brother? Okay, like I said, I'm just, uh, th- this is my fan theory. This is Pato's fan theory. I did one for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So when I saw this movie and I saw that scene, I started, you know, obviously my brain started going in all kinds of crazy directions. And because, uh, you know, humans, uh, <laughs> especially the ones with political aspirations, I mean, are capable of doing such shit. I mean, I, I could see it happening. I mean, what if in the second Batman, or in this specific story that we are being told, the Joker is Batman's older brother. I guess we will not know until the second Joker movie comes out if they decide to go that route, and then I can see if I was correct. Uh, My uh, fan theory for The Rise of Skywalker I'm going to recap it really quick. I said in one of my episodes that uh, 
Ray would turn out to be Palpatine's relative. She turned evil. Kylo turned good. And that's how we would get the rise of Skywalker. I was half ass right. Um, she was Palpatine's uh, relative, granddaughter, in fact. Uh, Kylo did turn good, but died. Uh, Ray was this, you know, relative of the evil dude, but did not turn evil. And as a kick to the nuts to Palpatine, not only did she reject his Sith ways, but she became a Jedi and. Instead of uh, being Ray Palpatine, she just gave him a big kick in the nuts and took on the name of Skywalker. You know, the name of the one that picked him up and threw him over the edge. I'm just saying. Well, like I said, I was half right on my theory. And that, to me, that that's fun. I mean, I, I, I don't particularly want to be right about it. Although, you know, if, could you imagine my bragging rights and how big my head would get if for some reason my theory happens to be i don't know i'm just putting it out there in the universe but for the second joker movie you know or th this story I i'm throwing out there my fan theory that thomas wayne is a scum scumbag who lied to the joker who lied to arthur in that bathroom who had the mom committed to arkham and uh Obviously, the Joker spent time in foster homes. Then she, in order to get out and to get her son back, she signed whatever papers she had to sign to get the fuck out of there and even signed the adoption papers to her own son, for her own son. And making him Batman's, making the Joker Batman's older brother. I'm just saying that, that in a nutshell, that's my theory. Uh, we will not know until all these movies are made. And I am looking forward to watching these stories because... I mean, as a big fan of the DC universe, and we, you, you know me, not just DC. We love Marvel. We love, we love to be entertained because, well, that, that's what we Americans do, right? So uh, I am waiting to see and watch these stories. We, is Pato right? Am I way off? Am I wrong? Will someone that's still probably working on the script hear this and go like, hey, that's a good idea. Fuck you, Pato. You ain't getting none of this money. I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> I don't care. You know, just tell me a good story. That's all I want to see because that would be like an ultimate twist. My ultimate twist with Rise of Skywalker was Ray turning evil, Kyle turning good. And since he was still a Skywalker because of his mama, uh, that would be the Rise of Skywalker. It didn't pan out that way, but I was still happy with the results. So I know that they got a good team working behind this movies and I mean hey after watching the first one can't complain so um this is just my quick fan theory episode for Pato's Powerhouse I hope that you are having a great time um and I'm gonna sign off like I normally do live each day like it's your last one because it very well could be you know take the time to be with your loved ones tell them you love them show them you love them because tomorrow's not promised to any one of us and you know how that goes uh uh, speaking of that, um, I'm going to just say, you know, our prayers and thoughts are with, uh, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and his family and everybody, that, Rocky Johnson's family. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's dad passed away at 75, you know, American here, a wrestling legend. Also, Lucha Libre, Mexican legend, you know, La Parca passed away. So our prayers, our thoughts are with his family as well. And like I said, tomorrow's not promised to anyone. So you right there, hold on to your little ones, to your loved one, to whoever completes you and tell them you love them, show them you love them because tomorrow's not promised to anyone. Till then, till next time, see ya. Hey, pato, escuché tu podcast en inglés. Dijiste, madre fucker. Le voy a decir a tu mamá para que te dé una chinga, cabrón o sicón. <laughs>